All right, Terry. OAC 2018 Junior High State Championships in the books. I'll yes, tell sir. you what, man. This r event does not run without you. Right. You well, I don't know about cogs. that, but thank you. <laughs> Talking to Jared, though, yep. you know, you, you run a lot of other stuff besides OAC events. What else do you do besides OAC wrestling? Well, of course, uh, everyone probably knows Bombs Page, so I'm a partner in that business. So uh, I've been in that for about 12 years now. And uh, it keeps me very busy, as you can imagine. We not only do have wrestling, but we also have track and cross country and uh, involved in some other sports as well, golf and seating for basketball across the state in different areas. Um, so yeah, so that part keeps me busy as well. And of course, uh, during the season, I'm running uh, tournaments all year long from December all the way through the end of March. Um, and then I actually go out and um, with track and cross country, I have my own timing company. So we provide timing and scoring services to about 25 different schools, mostly in southeastern Ohio. Um, so that, uh, you know, we're busy all, all year round and um, do uh, uh, youth tournaments, you know, high school tournaments, junior high tournaments, whatever's needed. That's what we do. So, so, you know, first of all, where are you based out of? Uh, actually, I live in Nelsonville, Ohio. Which so you live is, by OU? Yeah, exactly. Just a few minutes north of OU, yep. Uh, so very proud of uh, Bob Cut alumni, and I graduated in Nelsonville, York High School. So, Other than the Bucks? Yes, Nelsonville, York Buckeyes. That's right. That's state yep. champ this year, right? Yeah, it sure did. Old Colt Yanger, yep. He's going to be a Bobcat, too, He's right? He's going to be a Bobcat, yep, sure is. So. so the sport of wrestling, you know, you talk yep. about this. Jared's a wrestling guy. Jude's a wrestling guy. Yep. Jude's Jared's coach and uncle, right? right? exactly. So yeah. you look yeah. at wrestling and how tight-knit of a community is. Mm -hmm. Do you like working with wrestling people maybe a little bit? You know, you're in the other Absolutely. disciplines, right? You're in other yeah. sports, but what's it like working with wrestling people well, compared to other people? Well, you know, I, I say this gently, um, you know, wrestling's a whole different world, as we all know. You know, it, when I look at other sports that I'm involved in, um, you know, um, it, it's not quite as, other sports aren't, you know, they're team-based. This is obviously individual-based for the most part. Um, um, you know, there, there's just so much more to wrestling than there are the other sports. Um, I think it's, you know, more about discipline and what it teaches the kids. And, you know, my nephew, um, Steve Young, wrestled in, uh, he graduated in 2006, ended up state runner up um, and you know I, I seen what it taught him you know, the discipline and um, uh, just um, the, the know-how you know how to do things and how to approach life and and do things you know well and, and be, take a lot of pride in it so uh, he learned that out of that and I, I you know obviously following him along you know throughout the years um, uh, really made uh, made me more aware of what the sport was all about you know I didn't know much about it until he started wrestling um, so so, you know, so this is, you know, it's where it brought, it brought us today. We work together now, running tournaments all the time, and he actually works here with me, and uh, he's been involved, um, I don't know, probably six years now, maybe, something like that. Uh, I think this is my 12th year working with OAC. Uh, first year was in 2007 when it was hosted. These tournaments were actually hosted at OU um, back then. Um, so, yeah, so we, we've had a great time, and uh, of course, a great family here. Uh, Jared and Jude both are great people. Uh, great to work with. We all respect each other, and you know everybody has their own uh, things that they love to do and things that they're best at. And you know, and we just all uh, we've learned, um, you know, how to, how to work together and 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 to come out and produce hopefully what people believe are great events. So, no questions. First yep. class. Thank Is there you. anything you know like that that really stands out to you that these guys do that just makes it so first class? You call, they pick up. Yeah. You yeah. text them, they text you right back. Absolutely. Whatever yeah. it is, man, the guys are just, they're, they're incredible minds right. moving yeah. forward and, and pushing the sport forward. What's the what's your favorite thing about working with them? Um, I, I think their, their ability to adapt, you know, and, and if they see there's something that needs change, you know, whether that's, you know, almost um, there are things that get changed on the fly that's very rare. Usually it's, hey, let's talk about it. You know, that, you know, what do you think? What do you think? You know, one of us may have a strong opinion one way and the other two may have a strong opinion the other way, you know. So, so I think it's, um, you know, uh, it's very important, you know, for us obviously to, to come to some agreement, you know, and how things should be and, you know, just, you know, example, I forget what it was yesterday, we were talking and, you know, Jared's like, I think we should do it this way and Jude and I, well, we think we should do it this way, and, you know, and, you know, we just learn to compromise and try to think it through and talk it through and see what's best for everybody. All right, you got a long drive home. Yeah. You got anything else for me? No, thanks to you. I've been very nervous about this interview, so I'm glad it's over. <laughs> hey, thanks for the time. Safe travels. Home. All right, thanks.